Thank you, Mr. President, and uh, thank you, Senator Bach, for introducing this uh, bill. You know, um, I know we're not supposed to talk about intent or motivation, uh, but if Senator Bach will indulge me in a brief moment of violation of decorum, I think that what motivates this bill was a desire to help people when they've been knocked down, uh, a desire to help people stand up when they're trying to stand up. Um, but I think more concretely in terms of the purpose of this bill, uh, it's both implicit in the text and explicit in our conversation that there are two purposes to this bill. The first is to achieve conformity with federal laws about taxes that are about getting back up after the COVID pandemic. Mr. President, I think that's pretty obvious. It's in the nature of the bill. But it's also about helping people who sacrificed to help the people who were their responsibility. Something we haven't talked about enough, I don't think, is that when we talk about some of the sacrifices that business, uh, small business owners made, um, you know, oftentimes those were for people that they cared about, people who worked with them. I think that's really compelling and important for us to realize. But if we accept those two premises, those two purposes, and I think that we must, we also have to talk about teachers. Uh, Mr. President, in December of 2020, President Trump signed the Consolidated Appropriations Act into law. That act would require the Treasury to clarify that personal protective equipment, disinfectant, and other supplies used for the prevention of the spread of COVID-19 should be treated as an educator expense eligible for the existing $250 deduction, reducing their taxable income. Now you've got to ask yourself, why did the Trump administration pass that bill? I think it was because of people like my friend Kendra. Uh, Kendra is a uh, elementary school special ed teacher in St. Cloud. And members and Mr. President, if we're honest with ourselves, uh, our worst day is probably a lot better than Kendra's best. It's hard work to be an elementary school special ed teacher. On a normal day, it's especially hard to do so in the context of a pandemic. Now, when the pandemic hit, what did Kendra do? She bought zillions of extra crayons because she knew that in past, you know, we all remember we were in elementary school, you could share crayons, they're only a big bin. But in the context of the pandemic, Kendra bought tons of extra crayons with her own money. But he didn't just stop with that, she also bought masks for her kids who couldn't afford them. She bought disinfectant, she bought wipes. Now, as we all know, being a teacher does not make you tons and tons of money. Kendra's struggling, she has student loans. If we are to accept the two premises, the two principles behind this bill that we are discussing today, we need to conform to federal tax law and to allow our teachers to include within their already existing $250 deduction those things that they purchased for the sake of the safety of those people who were their charge. So, Mr. President, I offer you today the A20 amendment and I ask for a roll call. Senator Putnam offers the A-20 amendment. The secretary will report the amendment. Putnam. Senator Putnam moves to amend Senate File 263 as follows. Page 1, line 17, this is the A-20 amendment. A roll call has been requested. Roll call granted to the amendment. Senator Putnam. Mr. President. Uh, hold on, Senator Kunish. Senator Putnam, do you want to explain your amendment? Eric. Eric. Sir, Mr. President, all this really does is it takes a pre-existing $250 tax deduction uh, for professional uh, expenses for teachers and allows them also to include those um, uh, uh, implements that they purchased for the sake of COVID safety in their classrooms. So it really, there is no additional money required. This is simply just changing the language to allow people who already have a, a certain kind of deduction to include the costs of the pandemic, which of course is exactly what we're doing when it comes to small businesses. 